having. You know, it's so nice to report on some good news early this morning, and I'm going to walk you through uh, exactly what happened. So the shelter is right behind me right here, but just over here and across the freeway is where they found the dogs and how they found the dogs. Well, Titus, one of the dogs that was stolen, his bark gave away the location and volunteers were scouring the area trying to find the other three dogs and well again Titus's bark well they led them to a abandoned house over on Whittier and um, over right over there I mean Whittier and McKinley and that's when volunteers called DPD and they then went in and retrieved the remaining three stolen dogs. It's been an intense search for 24 hours looking for four stolen dogs. Yesterday afternoon, Terrence Lavelle flagged down our own Kim Craig after seeing the flyers posted around the area and said, follow me. He brought our crew and volunteers to Willow, who was tied up in this abandoned garage and surrounded by garbage. Called the number, ain't nobody answered, so I ran around the corner and caught them. He ran and in the, the flag, them down, and made them follow me back around here. And then we waited yeah. on y'all guys. To have one of our babies back is truly a blessing. That man right there who found her, I cannot thank that man enough. But now with breaking developments overnight and thanks to the loud deep bark of Titus, one of the stolen pups who is also sick, Jackson and Holly and Titus were found in an abandoned house close to the shelter. The pack of four is now back together. They are my heart and soul. They are my babies. Surveillance video captured the dog napping and you can see the suspects going through paperwork and one of the suspects is in tan pants with what looks like to be a stripe down the side of the pants. And according to Judy Jones with Make a Difference Rescue, it almost seemed like the suspects knew what they were doing. It was strange. They came in, they they kind of surveilled everything, like they were taking videos of all the exits, of all the dogs inside. The search is on for the suspects now that the dogs are back safe and sound. Whatever their reasons, you, you don't break into a rescue and take a dog because you love animals. But the search is still going on, this time for the suspects. So if you recognize those suspects in that surveillance video that we just showed you, you're asked to call DPD. Reporting on Detroit's east side, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. I tell you what, what a relief to have all four of those dogs back home. Salute to the Good Samaritan there and all of those volunteers. Peter, thank you.